Yo, what up, USA? I'm Ken Stoffele, and you're watching the stackbmx.com social media and YouTube channel. Today, we're going to do an explain and review on the stacked Jaws of Life tire levers. As always, if you're watching this on one of our social medias and you want to enter our YouTube contest, head over to youtube.com forward slash stackedbmx um, so that you can enter. Um, by simply subscribing to this channel, liking this video, turning on your notification bells, and then leaving us a comment below. But hang tight, because later on in this video, we're going to tell you who won the Stranger Parts package, and we're going to tell you how you can win a bicycle retailed at $289.95 um, when we hit 5,000 subscribers. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, let's talk about the stacked tire levers. Um, what I want to do is kind of tell you everything about it, what kind of, you know, I mean, created this this uh, product and then uh, kind of, you know, I mean, how it works and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let's start off on it. Um, a lot of people have probably seen this on our Instagram. Um, we're basically trying to create something that you can have really inexpensive. You can, it could help you uh, fix your bike in times of needs. And uh, we, we thought of this, uh, you know, my name, uh, the Jaws of Life, because pretty much if you got flat tires, you're SOL, you're on the side of the road and you basically need a, a tire lever or to repair your flat. So the life of your bicycle is um, pretty much um, wasted unless you have a Jaws of Life and you could actually take them off or take your tire off your rim and uh, replace that too. So um, that's kind of where the name came, came from. Um, if you don't know what the Jaws of Life are, they are um, a hydraulic, um, I would say, a, a, a prying device that uh, that a lot of fire department has um, basically when there's a car accident and uh, the car gets mangled up and somebody's trapped inside in order to save them sometimes the, tool, the conventional tools that we have can uh, pry the parts of uh, the car apart and uh, save the individual so they use this uh, Jaws of Life to basically wedge itself in between really tight crevices and then expand and then uh, rip open a hole or open a door or something like that so the kind of the same concept between uh, your tire being stuck on the rim and uh, trying to get it off. So uh, that's definitely a, you know, I mean, a big influence um, on our, our design. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you look at it right there, there's like a little Jaws of Life machine. So the Jaws of Life, and then uh, yeah, it just has tire levers on it. So this tire lever comes with um, three nylon uh, tire levers. So each one is screen printed with stacked on here and if you so happen to throw away this package or lose it or anything like that you don't need to hold on these these tire levers in here um, they got a little tongue and groove actually you know I mean not tongue and groove but it, it's got a little uh, cylinder right here and then it's got a hole on the other side of it and they basically connect like this and they all stay together so that's a uh, upside down <laughs> so uh, yeah, those are the tie levers. Um, comes with three of them. And uh, yeah, they're good to uh, take off your tire. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the tricks and stuff like that I use with these tire levers to take off your, your tire. So I'm gonna actually only use two. Um, most of the time I only use one, but uh, I'll show you, show you two of them. So what I like to do is I like to take as much air as I can out. Um, what I use is this end of this uh, tire lever right here. I'll show you what these little hooks are for in a second. So what you're gonna use that little point is to stick it inside the actual tube like so. And you're gonna depress the little valve stem um, tip in the middle. So you're gonna let all the air out. So this helps a lot because it's a pain in the ass to uh, stick something in there and um, basically let all the air out. So, so I'm gonna push it on the ground while while depressing it and try to get as much air as I can out. Okay. So once I got the air out, um, some of you might not notice, but if you look inside the rim, and let me try to pull it to the top right here. All right. So notice how the edge right here. The edge right here, I would say right there, is a lot bigger circle than 
right here in the middle. What you're going to want to do is try to take off the side of the tire that's in the middle. Um, what I like to do is I like to start from the valve stem. So um, I'll basically start at the valve stem. And these little hooks right here, what's cool about these is that you could actually hook it on to the tire right here. And what that'll do is as long as there's some pressure on it, that, that tire lever will stay on there. Um, most of the time, like I said, I don't really use a secondary one, but I'm going to show you how you can use it. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the tire all the way around into the center of the actual rim. So center, I mean, you know what I mean, in the middle of the rim this way. So right in the middle, you're going to push, put all the pressure on there. Go all the way around and uh, yeah, come back to the other side. So once you do that, it's left off a lot of tension. What you can do is you can stick it in here. And I wouldn't suggest going too far away. I would just put it right above another spoke. And then you could just use it to kind of pry it off. Um, and then once you got it pried off like so, it's going to basically hold on there. And you kind of want to pick which one's the easiest to move. This one feels like the easiest. And you're just going to push it like so side sideways like a like a karate chop um not necessarily like pulling it up and you don't you don't want to let the tension off of the lever and pull it up like so you want to keep it as flat to the rim as possible and uh, without hitting the spokes and then just slide it around um when you do that that'll pull off the tire real easy um if you do it with one i'm gonna push this back on here show you with the one um what i like to do is the same thing if you're just using one do the same same deal, push the tire to the center, and then just take it off, and then just make sure that you push it right on the edge, and that'll get the tire off real easy. Um, if you put two of them, sometimes uh, the tires are real tight, and uh, you need to use two of them, um, and then you end up breaking, breaking a tire lever. Um, that does happen just because you're actually prying too much, and you probably don't have the tire in the center of the rim. So I would definitely suggest trying to put the tire in the center of the rim. Um, another reason I see a lot of people having problems with taking their tire off is that if they got two rim straps in here or they got a bunch of tape in here and it's basically pushing the tire super far up. Um, if you have that, you know, I mean, just go drop a couple bucks on a, on a good uh, rim strap so that you don't have those problems. You know, I mean, I understand you know, I mean, trying to save a buck or two, but you know, I mean, it's not really worth the headache to... Uh, deal with that so uh yeah just go get a good rim strap you know a good high pressured rim strap and you should be all right it should be pretty easy to take off your tire but um yeah that's pretty much it um for these stacked where that where that package go <laughs> um yeah these that's it for the stacked jaws of life tire levers so uh i hope that helped you guys out understand a little bit more about these products um, understand how to take your tire off with ease and uh, make your life a little bit easier and let you know a little bit about the artwork and what um, what we kind of had to do to create create this artwork and uh, what what's um, kind of the meaning behind the actual artwork so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that um, yeah actually here's the packaging so there it is once again stacked jaws of life tire levers so uh, yeah, if you want to pick up a pair of these, um, head over to our website, stackbmx.com. The link is below. Um, just hit that link. It'll send you to our website. You can purchase some of these and uh, support the shop. The more stuff you buy from us like this, um, the more products and stuff like that we're going to make. Uh, we got a lot of ideas. We're going to make a lot of products in the short future. And uh, yeah, the more you guys support these this type of stuff, the more we can create our own stuff of uh, tools and uh, extra goodies and stuff like that. So, uh yeah, if you're hanging tight and you guys want to know who won the Stranger Park Parts Package, I want to congratulate um, Commander Zorro for winning our Stranger Parts Package. Uh, we went to one of our old videos. I believe it was one of the 2019 King Curve videos. We selected a comment out of random, and uh, that selected Commander Zorro. So uh, shout out to Commander Zorro. Um, I'll be posting um, a little comment later on in the day and tagging you. So you know you won, but uh, if you watch this video, um, send us a message, DM us, and uh, let, give us your, your name and address and everything like that, and we'll ship you out a part, uh, Stranger Parts package filled with a pair of tires, a pair of grips, and a stranger seat. 
uh, free of charge. All you got to do is give us that address, and we'll shoot it over to you, Commander Zero or Commander Zoro. We appreciate you for entering our contest. Um, I mean, don't look at us being bad if you didn't win this time, because shortly we're gonna be giving away a free bicycle, and you could be the winner. So same rules apply. Um, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, turn on your notification bells, and then leave us a comment below letting us know what you like about this video, what you don't like about this video, um, other things that you want to know, um, you know what I mean, about bikes in general, uh, pretty much anything the better our, our YouTube channel, and uh, that on to, to this contest and any contest in the future. So uh, yeah, good luck to everybody, and if you want to enter more times, all you got to do is go to our old videos and leave us a comment on there as well and do do all the other things um, as well. And then I'll enter you into the contest in the future and give you more chances to win. So like you've seen right now, it was a 2019 video, which we posted about a year ago. So any of these videos could win. It's not the newest one. So I hope that helped you guys out on winning that. If you're here on YouTube and you wanna check us out on social media, check us out on Instagram at Stack BMX Shop and Can't Stop LA. If you prefer Facebook, head over to facebook.com forward slash Stack BMX. Once again, I'm Ken Stop LA. Thank you very much for watching this video. Congrats to Ken, uh, Commander Zorro. We appreciate you guys and you know, I mean, everybody watching it. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.